my stones! We have a new record! Oh, it's you! Welcome! Uh, hi, Mayor Zhao. We're ready to redeem our coupons. Oh! Oh, but of course! Just step right this way! Uh, uh, huh. Um, who's that? That's the Magister, you rube. Pay your respects. Oh! <laughs> Boy, is this, uh, awkward. It's a long story. Can we explain it all inside, please? <sighs> oh, I know I'm gonna regret this. Come on. This is absolutely horrible! Catastrophic! Who's going to be my Battlesphere champion now?! A talking fish just took over all of Shang Tu, and that's what you're worried about? Yeah. Oh, but also dibs on the Battlesphere champion title? So can we stay here? I suppose I could squeeze you all in the library. Follow me. Your Excellency, about what Murga was telling us, was any of that true? Yes. Why? It was a different time. We were at war. We had no choice. No choice? How was almost wiping out an entire race even a choice? There are no good choices in war. There is only survival, and the means to achieve said survival. Surely someone of your upbringing would understand that. Oh no! Don't you dare try and guilt trip me! I never killed anyone when I was in the Red Scarves! And yet, did you not behave in a manner contrary to your true self, simply because to do otherwise would invite the scorn of your peers? Did you not comfort yourself with the hopeless lie that you were a good person, in spite of the crimes you committed? The sins you inflicted? You don't know what you're talking about! You don't know anything! Hey, that's enough! That's still the Magister you're shouting at! Besides, this here is a library.
served. Mmm, delish. Oh man, I totally forgot how hungry I was. I'm not really that hungry. Not after what happened tonight. Speaking of which... <clears throat> tonight has not been easy. We have lost the battle, but the war is not over yet. We need to devise a strategy. Murga is a threat to all of Avalis. Yeah, and I doubt you'd want her coming to visit your city again, Zhao. Pah! If that fish face so much as lays a single foot in my city, she'll be fried! Like... like this plate of fried plantains right here. Yeah, only more like blackened bananas, as these babies have clearly been cooked to golden perfection. Hoo-hoo! Pass me some of that, will ya? One moment... Here you are! Focus! So what do we know about Murga, anyway? I mean, what else? Murga comes from a time when Shang Tu was at war with the island nation of Perusa. She was uncontrollable, laying waste to entire armies single-handedly. My ancestors were unable to end her, but they did devise a way to contain her. They sealed her and her destructive potential away with the power of the Kingdom Stone. The Kingdom Stone? So when the stone was shattered, that Brevin, another calamity we can lay at his feet. But what else? Murga seems to be completely set on her vengeance. Why? All the water dragons are gone now. And then there's Bakunawa. Just what is that thing? There's so much we don't know, and the only people who can tell us are long dead. Oh, those people may be dead, but there's no reason why they can't talk. Well, not literally talk, I mean, but... My library has the largest collection of historical texts in all of Avalis. I'm sure I have a few books written by people who lived in those times. Wow, that sounds super neat. I'd love to read them. Certainly. Our rental fees are very reasonable. Then I will commit myself to research. Perhaps an answer to our current predicament lies within those texts. I'd love to help too. Um, if that's okay, Your Excellency. A second pair of eyes would be useful. Yeah, while you guys read, I'm gonna go find Cory and talk her out of this. What? Absolutely not. She's with them. That makes her our enemy. She attacked us, Carol. She put you in danger. Okay, fair points all around, but listen. I know how she thinks. It's all about money to her. If you, like, drop some moolah on me to bribe her or something, I'm sure she'd switch sides just like that. Everything you just said does not help your case in the slightest. A mercenary who would work for the highest bidder and change loyalties at the drop of a hat is inherently untrustworthy. I concur. It would be an unnecessary risk. Come on, we could use her help. She has that huge airship thing, too. <clears throat> Don't mean to toot my own horn here, but, uh, fastest airship in the country right here. We appreciate the gesture. And we shall avail ourselves to that service as well. Oh, well, I didn't mean... I mean, I guess I did mean, but- It is settled. The mercenary is too great a risk. We must focus on the immediate task ahead of us. Assess the threat of Murga and stop this Bakunawa. <sighs> Cory's in big trouble if I don't do something. Hold on, sis. I'm coming.
about time you picked up. Wait, Spade? Carol, it's been a while. Yeah, what's up with you? I'd prefer to tell you in person. Maybe in the basement at Goldie's. Can't miss it. Personal. Subject, Ocean Dweller Rumors. There's been talk of some kind of new threat arising from the Ocean Dwellers. A champion of immeasurable power, biologically engineered for war. I don't know how substantial these rumors are, but given their current level of righteous descent, I wouldn't dismiss their ability to craft such a beast. Father is convinced that we've run out of options for dealing with these savages. If that's the case, then there isn't much time left. I have to act without his permission. I will leave the capital and head for Perusa to negotiate some kind of peace with the Ocean Dwellers. Surely they'll listen to reason. We're all living on this planet together after all. Well, this is an unexpected development. You do realize the others are out looking for you, do you not? Yeah, and I bet scary ladies at the head of the pitchfork mob too. 
But look, that's not why I called. I found some kind of recording talking about Murga. Truly, this is excellent news. Tell me, what did the recording say? Something about Murga being some kind of champion. And the person who made the recording said her name was Cordelia. Intriguing. And Cordelia? Princess Cordelia? I will look into the matter. Keep an eye out for any more recordings, but focus on the imminent threat of Bakanawa. Oh, sure. Yup, imminent threat focusing. That is something I will do in a roundabout way. Please don't tell anyone I called. Do endeavor to make peace with your friends. They worry about you, and this is incredibly awkward for the rest of us. Long time no see. Long time no see? How have the scarves been lately? Oh, the usual. Criminal proclivities for fun and profit. Sweet. So what'd you want? My brother heard about the attack. He's doing everything he can to avoid an all-out war with an ancient water dragon. In the meantime, I'm just doing my part to save the world. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but you're not exactly the heroic type. Or trustworthy. Or anything positive I can think of at all, really. I'm here to track down my sister. That's all that matters to me. <laughs> in that case, you're totally in luck. What, really? Wait, what's the catch? Relax. Big bro's the one foot in the bill. He'd, uh, bust me up good if I didn't do my job right. That didn't sound friendly. Is that a volcano? Oh, it's a hot spot, all right. Those volcanoes should be dormant. Plus, a bunch of robots have moved into the region, and they are definitely not friendly. Gotta be Cory. And whatever that monkey thing is she's been hanging out with, I guess. So, you in? Eh, I guess you're cool enough to join the Carol Corps. Whatever. Hang on, I'll update your map. These are the leads I've dug up so far. Awesome, let's do this! Carol the Wildcat to the rescue!
pretty paranoid, but all those volcanic eruptions can't be good for the island, can they? Yep. Not sure what we can do to help out, but I've found the epicenter of the volcanic activity. Coincidentally, your sister's ship was spotted in that area a while ago. Can't confirm if it's still there, but could be worth a look. Sounds like a twofer. Save Perusa from becoming Magma Town and pick up Cory's trail. Win-win. <laughs> This is the fastest ground route to the volcano. Seriously? Fine. What of? I got this.
that's Cory's ship. And Zhao's too? What the heck is going on over there? I'm guessing that Zhao wandered into Cory's airspace, and now he's thoroughly regretting that decision. Ugh, that guy's annoying, but he doesn't deserve this. All right, new plan. Distract Cory from attacking Zhao, then stop the volcano from erupting. I got this.
pay for that. There, big guy. Good. You're here. Saves me the trouble of hunting you down. I've got better things to do. Get lost. Not happening. You've caused us way too much trouble. Of course, as soon as you switched over to Murga's side, you get super ridiculously powerful. Of course. Hardly. I could always manipulate stones and gems. This whole place is made of the stuff, and that's why it's gonna be your grave. Not a chance. You're going down, traitor. <laughs> You're mine. And in the end, Murga will set things right. Yeah, nah. See you later, big guy. Yeah, yeah, you better. You better run. Okay, now to stop. Volcano, just gotta, gotta catch my breath. Your guess is as good as mine. On the upside, it looks like the lava's pouring into the ocean, so nobody's getting turned into charcoal today. What? No way! I didn't even get to start on that! Well, at least I managed to pun Cory away. Score one for Carol! <laughs> yeah, throwing rocks at people is what I do when I want to talk to them, too. Looks like a fail on both fronts there. But hey, at least Sal is safe, right? <laughs> 